This video shows the lengths thieves will go to to get what they want. And right now, Longmont police are looking for as many as three people who drove a truck into a jewelry store, smashing the displays. Denver 7's Thomas Hoppo talked to people at businesses nearby who say they cannot believe this happened to a family business. Right now, boards are replacing the doors here at the jewelry store, and even a chain is here to keep it locked. And it's all because of that robbery. <laughs> Because you're taking somebody's livelihood since you're too lazy to get your own livelihood. Nails and duct tape is what's holding these doors together now. I was in shock when I first heard about it. At this jewelry store. I've been in it a few times. It's a family-owned jewelry store. The news didn't sit well with Brittany and Barry, who knows the family that owns it. So it hit really close to home. On Wednesday morning, the store was hit. <laughs> with a smash and grab robbery. Brittany and Barry have never seen this footage until now. Oh, this is the break-in. Did they just drive in the front door? It's crazy, honestly. Hardly an expert, but doesn't. all you can tell is there's two of them and maybe a driver. Longmont police say up to three suspects smashed into this store with a stolen Jeep and then took off with another stolen Jeep. Why? What, what they were thinking? I mean, how, how could they do that to, to a family? The owners say they're just trying to move forward while police continue their search. To the police, stay on it. In Longmont. To the guys that did it, they'll catch you. Thomas Hoppo, Denver 7.